$3,500 for draw and instant games. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. All right, guys, you ever need anything discussed relationship-wise, you can always email. Jessica, power1017.com. All right, here we go. We got a new email in. It says, Dear Bill and Jess, I need advice. Okay. I'm currently in the process of a divorce. We split up about two years ago. Okay. I've been dating someone for the past year, and he's absolutely amazing. All caps. Okay. We have wonderful chemistry, both in and out of the bedroom. We vibe together like no one I've ever been in a relationship with. He's completely opposite of my narcissistic, soon-to-be ex-husband. He shows me love in so many different ways. For the first time, I actually feel loved, and I can say that I'm happy. However. Oh, here we go. Here's the however. However. What? He's nearly 40. Works entry-level jobs, struggles to pay his rent, and has zero in savings. Just struggles and lives paycheck to paycheck. I'm not used to this. Mm -hmm. I ain't used to this kind of living. Mm -hmm. And it causes me seriously to think about putting a pause in our relationship. She's stressed. Okay. I make decent money, and my ex-husband always made real good money. Okay. Okay. We vacation with the kids when we wanted to, always had enough to cover bills and more. Yeah, okay. Okay, I've been maintaining the household on my own just fine since our breakup. My boyfriend has expressed that he would like to move in with me when his lease is up in February, but I don't know if I'm ready for that only because the fact that he's comfortable with his lifestyle mm -hmm. and riding the struggle bus. Mm -hmm. But he's so perfect. In so many other ways, but financially, he's struggling. Okay. It's killing me. Well, no, it might not be. Now, we've talked about this. He says he knows that he needs to do better, okay. but I don't see him putting forth the effort to actually do it, even for himself. Oh, she doesn't? No. Oh, because that's what's going to be one advice. of my suggestions. Yeah, so this guy, so her ex husband, who, you know, she's getting a divorce from, who she says is narcissistic, who, you know, she's been split up with for two years or whatever. There was money wasn't it was all, yeah, always yeah, yeah, good yeah. money right 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 you her probably sometimes stay longer and stuff because it's like comfortable yeah yeah this guy everything's perfect except he's paycheck to paycheck no savings probably no real plans he's yeah. just getting by but she said that she did talk to him about it he sees that he knows it which is good it's at least he's not in denial yeah but is he going to do anything to, like, fix it, to help the situation? You know, does he pick up a side hustle? Does he do a part-time? Do, does he, you know, go back to school to get, you know, a different career that makes more? Joy texting in. Trust, if he can't do better on his own, he's not going to be doing better with you. His problems will become yours. Most men are providers. Don't take on a liability. Yeah, is he getting, is he, like, wanting to make sure that he is, you know, stable and able to be a provider. Monique says, be careful not to adopt the 40-year-old child. Mm-hmm. Because you can do bad by yourself. Date forever if you must. <laughs> you can be his incentive. Do not move him in. Ava texted in, not to be a negative Nancy, but please remember the love bombing phase of your marriage. But most importantly, nobody falls in love faster than a dude who needs a place to stay. Well, and they also say that like money is one of the problems that like break people up. Oh, when you have money problems, you have problems. So that's, I know, it's you the know, worst. You know, and if she she's stable and she has her home and she's doing okay, it is hard if you bring in somebody else who's not, you know, going to be able to provide and help. Because then you do feel like you're taking care of another person. Uh, Amina says, no, ma'am, at 40, he's where he's going to be. Do not move him in with your kids. Um, he's a beep buddy at best. Oh. I bet you say no, he can't move in. He'll move along and lose interest in you. Mm. Oh, so when is his lease going to be up? I know you said something about his lease. In February. All right, so still a few more months. You should give him like an ultimatum. There's still a few we more months move for in. him to like everything. Every, keep everything the same. You love him. You want to be with him. Whatever. But tell him, yes, you can move in if you get your ish straight by January. Mm -hmm. 
with financial. If you get a better job, if you show me that you're going to do it, then we can do this. But right now, and you have to give him that ultimatum. You have yeah. to. Do it now so you give him time to be able to yeah. get his stuff straight. Uh, Nico texted in, do not let him move in. There's nothing wrong with waiting to do anything serious. It's only been a year. You have children that, you know, you have to set an example for. Take your time. Okay? Yeah. No, I like that. I like that advice. T says, girl, unless you're ready to fund your lifestyle and his and be okay with it, you have to define what balance means for you and your relationship. But if you're asking us, I'm pretty sure the balance that you need isn't there and you just want someone to tell you that. Keisha, yeah, that's a no for me personally. Financial stability or lack of is a deal breaker. I've been, uh, I've never been poor and I don't want to be in that situation because of someone's lack of ambition. But you got to do what's best for you. If you have kids, I probably just use that as an excuse. You don't want to confuse them. So soon after the divorce and you want, you know, to get a schedule, blah, blah, blah. So, but, you know, you don't have to like dump him and kick him to the curb, but just tell him, I, I, me personally, I would give him the ultimatum, tell him, look, you need to get your stuff straight by January. And then we can talk about you moving yeah. in. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Three, five, nine. She's a gold digger. Really? She's a gold Why? Digger? Because she wants to, to live her lifestyle? Dude. I don't understand. 470, if you plan uh, to move him in, make sure he pays his half. And if he don't, he's out. Mm-hmm. But it's not just about paying the half. You know, you're not you don't want to move him in as like a and treat him like a roommate. Right. Because that'll cause other problems. Mm-hmm. You want him to be financially like more comfortable and you want him to have a plan. And start to develop a savings. But she also doesn't want it to be that she's there and paying everything either because it's right. basically her house, you know? So that's another, like, discussion that they'll have to have. 302-858-5117. Question of the day. Let us know what you think. Good morning. Good morning.